The bow rake is great for moving. If you want to kind of freshen up your mulch, a couple of strokes, I can really move this rock into bigger piles. Hey everybody, Sean and Allison here from Spoken Garden. How are you guys? Happy Saturday and hope your weekend's off to a great start so far. So guys, today is Saturday and that means it's Garden Tool Saturday. We're going to be looking at bow rakes. Yeah, but before we get into all of that and all the uses for it, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on every daily video we post. Okay, you guys, bow rakes. You might also know it by the name hard rake. Those indicate the same tool. Um, we're, Sean's gonna show you a couple different ways that this is really useful for you to have in your garden, ways Maybe. you didn't think of to use it. It's a real versatile tool to have in your garden. Every garden out there should have one. This is a bow rake, and it's really hard. It's different from, say, a fan rake in that there's no single movable tines. They're all actually connected together from one central point, one ridge right here, and these are the tines. It's similar to a fan rake where it does have tines and also like a pitchfork, but these tines are actually stationary. They don't move individually, and so you can actually control and move a lot more material um, with this bow rake, with this kind of rake, instead of like a fan rake. Rakes, they come in a bunch of different sizes. This is actually a more narrow type of rake where it's not that long. This one right here is about 14 inches long. They come in various sizes that are a lot larger and some are more narrow and smaller than this one. So it just depends on what you want to do with it and how you want to use it and also your physicality. Something to keep in mind is the longer the bow rake end is, the more resistance there's going to be and the harder it is that it's gonna be to either pull or push material when you're using this, so keep that in mind. So these types of rakes are great for moving rock, for moving mulch, for moving dirt, for picking up all these different pine cones and fir cones that we have around, the different debris we have around in our garden. So, so they're really versatile in that respect. So guys, with all that explanation, let's launch into this and let's get to work. So we're gonna go over here. Our first example is using the bow rake to move mulch around. You can see we've got our favorite here. We've got our arborist mulch. And the bow rake is great for moving. If you wanna kind of freshen up your mulch, you can move it this way and then move it back. And you kind of give it a little bit more of a fresh look. It doesn't look like it's been sitting there for as long. Now, if you've got a lot of mulch that you need to put down and spread around, it's actually great to use the bow rake when you wanna move around those mulch piles that you brought over with the wheelbarrow because you can actually spread and move the mulch a lot faster using a bow rake than you can with, say, even a pitchfork or even a fan rake. Now, the pitchfork's great because you can really throw it and move the material fast, but it's not as strategic and it's not gonna look as good as if you used a bow rake. So, bow rakes are really good for that. Next up, you can see down here, we've actually got some of our mulch and the squirrels have been busy. Well, they've been taking this mulch for whatever reason and throwing it out here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the bow rake and we're gonna use it to move the mulch back into the mulch area and out of the grass. So and here's another good use of this rake. You can get all this material and it's good for really big pieces of material too, because sometimes if you've got larger pieces of wood chip like this is, you can't get everything or the, even the bigger pieces with a fan rake. And so a bow rake in this situation is great. Now, if we were gonna do this right, we'd move the bigger pieces back into the mulch area and then we'd go get our fan rake to really fine tune this and really smooth things out. But if you don't have a fan rake and all you got is a bow rake, here's a quick tip and a hack. Take the rake itself with the tines, turn it over and use the smooth edge to now level out all the mulch in this area. Now, it just takes some practice, but it's, makes short work of something like this so you don't have to go grab another rake, say like the fan rake, if you don't want it. If you're in a hurry or just want to knock it out, you're done. And it looks pretty good, right? So guys, another great use for a bow rake in your garden is moving different kinds of rock around. Now we've got some pea gravel down here and this is actually in our fire pit area, but we use the same type of gravel in our path just outside the fire pit area. And so what I want to show you is, is I want to show you how to use this bow rake in this area to smooth out and move the rock around. And it's really easy, you just, you know, go back and forth, no big deal. But you can, see I can, a couple of strokes, I can really move this rock into bigger piles. And then if I need to, I can take this and I can move it somewhere else with a shovel or with this if I need to. But this is, makes this type of work really easy. So, and then I can just push it back. And again, you can see I'm using this flat edge to smooth out and kind of fine tune this gravel so I don't have to go back 
I don't have to come back with a fan rig and actually do this all over again. Okay. Now, if you're in a gravel path and like you have here, you've got gravel and then just on the other side, you've got the wood chip. You can see it's kind of a mess sometimes. The squirrels and different critters will come through here and make a mess. Well, you can use the bow rake to get this kind of cleaned up. And so what we do is we like to take the edge of the bow rake and go just on the outside of our edge material there. And you're gonna pick up some of the rock with it, but you can just take it and bring it up. And there you go. Makes it look a lot better. Takes care of that edge. If you've never used a bow rake before, we hope that was helpful in giving you some ideas for how to use it around your yard. It's really versatile. You saw Sean move gravel. We can move leaf material, mulch material, soil. Possibilities are endless. So guys, leave your comments and questions down below for us on this bow rake use. And if you use it in your garden, we love hearing from you guys. Give us that thumbs up. Let us know we're doing a good job. And subscribe to our channel so you get updates on our latest videos. Yeah, that's a wrap, you guys. Um, we'll be back tomorrow with our next daily video. So come on back to see what we're up to. See you tomorrow, everybody. Yeah, have a great day. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.